Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday tutorial. I'm Zane Condren, Senior Video Specialist here at NewTek, and today I'm going to be showing you the pause feature in our macro automation engine. Okay, first let's create a macro. I'm going to open the macro panel, go create a new folder, and create a new macro. I'm going to hit the record button, and then I'm going to switch between my inputs. Okay, let's take a look at the commands contained within this macro. You'll see that it has all these shortcuts of me switching in between the various sources on my VMC here. And you'll see right here I switch from DDR4 to my MixEffect 1. So I'm actually going to go in here and insert a row. And the pause feature can be written into the macro using pound sign pause. So I'm going to go ahead and go out to uh, the live production interface and just to start things off I'm going to put uh, black on output and take off my DSK. Then I go to my macros and I'm going to play this macro. You will see that it fires and then pauses and if I hit the tilde key it will resume operation and can finish the macro. If we go look at system commands, you'll see here uh, there's a couple useful commands. There's the macro continue paused macro, which is the tilde key, as I previously mentioned. Um, but each macro has four triggers. So if I wanted to assign this to one of the buttons on my new tech control surface or an X keys device or even a MIDI panel I could also assign the continue command to any of those buttons as well. So that was a quick look at adding pause into your macros which can be a very helpful tool in your productions. If you have any topics that you would like to see us cover in Tuesday tutorials please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week.